up guys welcome to another video on the IW Rocker channel today we have something special uh, to me this is actually my father-in-law's awesome 1985 Chevrolet three-quarter ton truck and uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this truck and feature it and uh, I've been wanting to feature different vehicles on this channel uh, for a long time I have here and there and I want to do more and uh, I did say something in my last video about how old trucks are just uh, completely different in my opinion and uh, I would almost argue they're better as someone who has a beastly newer truck the old trucks are just awesome and uh, this one is tried and tested it's been in uh, my father-in-law's hands for decades and it has done a lot of work has a lot of miles and it's just a testament to uh, old American trucks are just incredible in my opinion and uh, yeah it's not a uh, you know fifty thousand dollar show truck but to me, it shows that it's got a lot of work in its uh, history and that it just keeps on going. So let's go through it. Okay, so starting up front, you see it's a little beat up here, but it's got a billet grill. That's kind of custom. I like that. Uh, the bumper's actually in good shape. You know, these are real old steel bumpers. And uh, what's really cool is if you come in here, can I get the camera in here? We got, if you listen for this sound here, we got actual glass headlights, not the plastic headlights like you see on everything nowadays. This is a real tough old truck. I mean, you have glass headlights, and uh, I think that's pretty cool. And uh, you know, just that awesome square body. I, these are really popular nowadays if you can find them. They're hard to find around us, I know that, but uh, especially in the Midwest with all the, the rust belt, right? You know, uh, vehicles just get eaten up up here. And uh, to see a square body, um, around in someone's hands is awesome. So coming around, you know, it's got three quarter tons, got the eight lug hubs, pretty cool. This thing's uh, built pretty beastly even back then. You know, you got the pinstripe right here. Pretty interesting. Uh, if you actually, you can see in the interior, it's blue. And uh, you can see on kind of these humps right here in the back. Um, yeah, you can see blue throughout the vehicle. You can see in the back of the tailgate, it, uh, this actually started out as a light blue truck. I don't know what the color code would be for GM back then, but uh, he, how many years ago you think had this repainted? 10, 15, 15 years, ago? years ago? Yeah, he had, uh, had it repainted white. And you could see this thing is all steel everywhere I hit it. It's got a cool, you know, grab handle here. You know, uh, these old vehicles had the uh, quarter windows here. It's something you just don't see anymore. Um, you know, a lot of my older view viewers uh, you might laugh because uh, you you know all this, but you know viewers my age. I am only 26, but I feel like I'm an old soul. I did grow up with old trucks like this, actually old Dodges in my case. Uh, this is a Chevy, but uh, you know these old trucks just are special to me. I love them, and I really want to get an old one someday. I did get a '95, and that's old-ish, but I really want to get an old one like this someday. So, um, yeah, this is a regular cab, eight-foot bed. Uh, long bed so this this configuration was very standard back then uh, a lot more than it is now now it's kind of hard to find uh, if you look back here down here you can see too you know this thing was real heavy duty back then I mean you have one two three four five six seven eight leaf springs and back that is just bonkers to me uh, that's real heavy duty and uh, you know decent sized tires as well uh, you know beefy frame but if you look, considering how old this is, this has been out west, and then now in the Midwest, it's kind of been all over the country. Uh, you know, it's done a lot of work. It's still used to this day, like right now, earlier today. This thing is that old, but still used for work. It hauls loads all the time, tools and, and supplies. He does tow with it, and uh, this is an actual work truck still, so I think that's pretty impressive. Just coming around back, you can see some of its uh, battle scars here. Uh, you, you do have the stamped in the metal Chevrolet uh, name there, which is can't really see it too well, but um, if you see there, it's you know raised up in the uh, stamped steel. There, it's pretty cool, you know. And uh, again, very heavy duty bumpers, tow hitch, and uh, I don't know these square body trucks. You know, from all of them, Dodge, Chevy, GMC, Fords, even. Uh, these old trucks are just just awesome and uh under the hood this is pedro my father-in-law was owner of this awesome truck and uh, he's gonna pop the hood for us and show us the uh carbureted 350 underneath Hello. yeah 
Yeah, this talk I have in the uh, 1895. Yeah. It's good talk. Very, very heavy duty. Yeah. No problem, the engine is set engine. Yeah. Only, you know, it's set to break us, you know. It break, yeah. Yeah. yeah we, we, Small talk? stuff, but never, you know, this thing never major repairs really, right? <laughs> Okay, so like he said, underneath we got the uh, legendary 350. Uh, this is the same motor I have in my 95, um, but this one is you know, actual carbureted. See the big air cleaner there, and uh, just to think that this thing is over 30 years old and has been started and ran so many times is pretty cool. And you know, you can see how empty these old engine bays are. They're so easy to work on. No BS cluttered under here, just wires and uh, the engine pretty much and the fan. So pretty cool. And uh, honestly, it'd be cool someday if he keeps this. It would be awesome someday if he could restore this and make it real pretty. But either way, I uh, totally respect the uh, work element of this truck. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I love those old vehicles, those old trucks. Oh, that smell, it smells like gasoline, I love it. <laughs> old, you know, pre-emission carbureted uh, vehicles are too fun in my opinion. So uh, hopefully I can get one, something like this someday. All right, so uh, as you can tell, I am a fan of this truck. I appreciate Pedro, my uh, father-in-law, showcasing it here today. And uh, this is just a stellar truck. Uh, I love these old trucks. Anything old is, in my opinion, you know, old, uh, beat up, show car, doesn't really matter. They're just awesome. They have an element about them that's just different when you get in them, when you start them, when you drive them. They're just really fun. Anyway, so if you uh, like this video, let us know down below uh, what other vehicles you would like me to chase after. And uh, if you're local around, uh, you know, the Midwest, Northern Illinois, Wisconsin area, you got a vehicle you want to showcase uh, let me know maybe we can make something happen anyway guys adios i'll catch you later